I'm Sage and welcome to Sage's Illustration. Today we're going to be doing a Halloween special where we are making the jack-o'-lantern doll that I designed last video. So to start we have our base doll right here. We have a Venus doll for the body so that she's all nice and green. And then we have this Ever After High um, doll head. I switched their heads because I kind of hate <laughs> The molding for Ever After High, but I do like the body type for them. So I'm taking this head, so I'm going to cover it with clay and make it look like a pumpkin. We'll see how she turns out. So let's get started. Okay, so to get started, we're going to be working on the head first. And since her head doesn't really look like a pumpkin yet, we're going to have to be covering in clay. And to get that effect, I would just go ahead and put on clay, but I'm worried that any clay that I do put on is going to slip off the vinyl. So what I'm going to be doing is taking a bunch of paper clips, and I'm going to be essentially stabbing this doll repeatedly in the face to help give the clay something to grip onto, and I'm going to be trying to make, you know, like the curves of a pumpkin. And then I'm going to fill it in with either some air dry clay or like aluminum foil or something, something light. And then I will be coming back in with maybe some more clay or epoxy sculpt to really f finish it and get in those details. done I'm gonna do some fine-tuning probably add a bit more use this pencil to try and like outline the grooves and just try and get the in general rough shape of everything that I want for her because right now her face is looking a bit lumpy and not pumpkin-y
position, I think I might fiddle around with it a little bit more. If you think her head is uh, bulbously large, you are right. That's kind of the point. I kind of wanted to give this doll, this jack-o'-lantern doll, kind of the feel that it is a pumpkin that just kind of took away with its little leaves. And this is just like the very stemmy body with like a very bulbously large pumpkin head. It is making her head a little uh, wobbly. some texture to this doll if I did paper mache. So I already have a mixture made up here. I made way too much, but I'm hoping that this paper mache will add some texture to this doll, fill in all these gaps, and uh, some cracks are forming here too. And I'm also going to be doing it for the head basket as well.
Okay, now that I've got her face done and sealed, it is time to move on to the final step for her, which is adding vine tattoos all over her body. So I've already gone ahead and sanded down her body. I'm gonna be adding some light blushing into her joints just to make them pop a little bit more, but I'm not gonna be doing anything crazy just because she's got such a, you know, like plain, flat colored face. If I do too much like blushing, the realism versus the cartooniness, I think is gonna be a little off-putting. Okay, now that I have her blushed, I'm gonna be taking her outside and giving her a good couple coats of Mr. Super Clear to really try and lock in the shading that I've done. So hopefully she won't uh, fly off the balcony, but uh, uh, we'll see. Okay, we've got her all sanded and sprayed down. And I also went ahead and drew her little vine tattoos already and so you can't really see it on the arms for some reason that did not get enough truth but we'll make it work finally have all of the pieces ready to be assembled. I haven't put her together yet for myself even. So let's get her dressed up. It's a bit long, but at least it like fits over her shoulder. 